Eleventh problem. The price of a pen and a book are in the ratio 3 to 5. The price of a book is 12 rupees more than the price of a pen. If the price of a pen is taken as 3x, how can we write the price of a book? Find the price of a pen and that of a book. Here the ratio of pen and book is 3 to 5. Therefore, if the price of a pen is taken as 3x, then the price of book equal to 5x. Given that the price of a book is 12 rupees more than the price of a pen, that is price of a book equal to price of a pen plus 12. Here price of a book is 5x and price of a pen is 3x. So we can write 5x equal to 3x plus 12. Taking 3x on the other side, we can write 5x minus 3x equal to 12. 5x minus 3x is 2x. So we can write 2x equal to 12. Or x equal to 12 by 2. That is equal to 6. Now we have to find the price of a pen. That is 3x. Means 3 into x. Here the value of x is 6. So 3 into 6 that is 18 rupees. Now price of a book is 5x. That is 5 into 6 or 30 rupees. Twelfth problem. In the figure ABCD is a regular pentagon. Write the measure of one angle of a regular pentagon. Find the measures of all the angles of triangle ACD. Sum of the angles of a polygon equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree. Here it is a pentagon. So number of sides n equal to 5. So we can write it as 5 minus 2 into 180 degree. That is equal to 3 into 180 degree and that is equal to 540 degree. Here it is a regular pentagon. So all angles are equal. So measure of one angle equal to 540 divided by 5 and that is equal to 108 degrees. Each angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degree. Therefore angle B equal to 108 degree. Now look at triangle ABC. AB and BC are equal. Because they are sides of a regular pentagon. So these two angles are also equal. And sum of all these three angles is 180 degree. This is 108. What remains now? Only 72. Since these two are equal, each of them is 36. So we can say angle BAC equal to 36. And angle BCA also equal to 36. In the same way, when we take triangle ADE, angle E equal to 180 degree, therefore both these angles are equal to 36 degree. That is angle DAE equal to 36 degree and angle ADE also equal to 36 degree. Now look at this angle. Sum of all these three angles is 108 degree. So angle CD equal to 108 minus 36 plus 36. 36 plus 36 is 72. So it can be written as 108 minus 72. And that is equal to 36 degree. That is angle CAD equal to 36 degree. Now this total angle is again 108 degree. And this is 36. So angle ACD equal to 108 minus 36 that is equal to 72 degree. In the same way angle ADC also equal to 108 minus 36 and that is equal to 72 degree. Therefore the angles of triangle ACD are 72 degree, 72 degree and 36 degree. Thirteenth problem. Amrita deposited rupees 20,000 in a bank which compounds interest half yearly. The annual rate of interest is 8%. How much amount would she get back after one year? Najia deposited rupees 20,000 in a bank which compounds interest quarterly. The annual rate of interest is 16%. How much amount would Najia get back after six months? Here amount deposited is 20,000 and interest is compounded half year. The annual rate of interest is 8%. So we can use the equation amount after one year is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 all raised to N. 
Here P is the amount deposited that is 20,000. Annual rate of interest is 8 percent and it is half yearly compounding so R equal to 4. And N equal to 2 since in a year there are two half years. So replacing the values we can write 20,000 into 1 plus 4 by 100 all square. 1 plus 4 by 100 is 104 by 100. So we can write it as 20,000 into 104 by 100 all square. Now 104 by 100 all square means 104 by 100 into 104 by 100. So we can write it as 20,000 into 104 by 100 into 104 by 100. So we can uh, cancel four zeros from numerator and denominator and we can simplify it as 2 into 104 into 104. Multiplying we will get 21,632 rupees. So amount after one year that Amrita gets is 21,632 rupees. Now we have to find the amount that Najia would get back after six months. Again, we can use the equation P into 1 plus R by 100 all raised to Here P is the amount deposited that is 20,000. Annual rate of interest is 16% and it is quarterly compounding. So R equal to 16 by 4 that is equal to 4 and equal to 2 because within 6 months there are 2 quarter years. So replacing we will get 20,000 into 1 plus 4 by 100 all square that is 20,000 into 104 by 100 all square that is 20,000 into 104 by 100 into 104 by 100. Cancelling the zeros we will get 2 into 104 into 104 and that is equal to 21,632 rupees. So after 6 months Najia would get back 21,632 rupees. 14 problem. Three equal rhombuses with one side 4 cm and one angle 60 degree are put together as in the figure. Draw the figure with given measurements. This is for, so this is also for. So let us first draw an equilateral triangle of side 12 cm. Let me draw a line of 12 cm at first. Now take 60 degree at one end and draw a line. Similarly take 60 degree at the other end and draw another line. Two lines in the second point that is the third vertex. Now divide each side into three equal parts of 4 cm each. Now join the points like this. So now we got the required figure. Fifteenth problem. x square minus y square equal to x minus y into dash plus dash. 3a plus b into 3a minus b equal to dash. Find 9.8 square minus 0.2 square. x square minus y square equal to x minus y into x plus y. 3a plus b into 3a minus b equal to 3a whole square minus b square. 3a square is 9a square. So we can write it as 9a square minus b square. 9.8 square minus 0.2 square equal to 9.8 plus 0.2 into 9.8 minus 0.2. 9.8 plus 0.2 is 1 and 9.8 minus 0.2 is 9.6. So that is equal to 1 into 9.6 and that is equal to 9.6. Sixteenth problem. In the quadrilateral ABCD, AB equal to 8 cm, BC equal to 5 cm, AC equal to 6 cm, CD equal to 4 cm. AD equal to 5 cm. Draw the quadrilateral. Let us draw a rough figure at first. Here AB is 8 cm, BC is 5 cm, CD is 4 cm and AD is 5 cm. 
Let us draw the triangle ABC at first. The three sides of triangle ABC are known. So it is easy to draw the triangle ABC. Draw AB by taking 8 cm. Now BC is 5 cm. So take 5 cm in the compass and draw an arc. Now AC is 6 cm. Take 6 cm in the compass and draw an another arc. The intersecting point is C. Join C to B and C to A. Now the distance from C to D is 4 cm. Taking 4 cm in the compass, draw an arc from C. AD is 5 cm. Taking 5 cm in the compass, draw an arc from A. The intersecting point is D. Join C to D and join A to D. Seventeenth problem. A plastic bottle manufacturing company decided to reduce its production by 10% in each year. If the current production is 4 lakhs, what would be the production after 2 years? If the current production is 4 lakhs, let us take it as P. Rate of reduction is 10%. And we have to find the production after 2 years, that is n equal to 2. Since it is a reduction, we can use the equation a equal to p into 1 minus r by 100 dot raised to n. Replacing the values, we get 4 lakhs into 1 minus 10 by 100 dot square. 1 minus 10 by 100 is 90 by 100. So we can write it as 4 lakhs into 90 by 100 dot square. That is equal to 4 lakhs into 90 by 100 into 90 by 100. Now we can cancel 4 zeros from the numerator and denominator. So we get 4000 into 9 into 9. 9 into 9 is 81. So it can be written as 4000 into 81. Multiplying we get 3,24,000. That is the production after 2 years is 3,24,000. 18th problem. Read the given concept carefully and write answers to the following questions. Each question carries one score. Look at the pattern. 1 square plus 4 into 2 equal to 3 square. 2 square plus 4 into 3 equal to 4 square. 3 square plus 4 into 4 equal to 5 square. Write the next line. 5 square plus 4 into dash equal to 7 square. 10 square plus 4 into 11 equal to dash. n square plus 4 into n plus 1 equal to dash. Here in each line, three consecutive natural numbers are taken. The first line 1, 2, 3 are taken. 1 square plus 4 into 2 equal to 3 square. In the second line, next three consecutive natural numbers are taken. 2, 3 and 4. 2 square plus 4 into 3 equal to 4 square. In the third line, 3, 4, 5 are taken. 3 square plus 4 into 4 equal to 5 square. So in the next line, we have to take 4, 5 and 6. That is, 4 square plus 4 into 5 equal to 6 square. Now 5 square plus 4 into 6 equal to 7 square. Here 5, 6, 7 are taken. 10 square plus 4 into 11 equal to 12 square. Here the three consecutive natural numbers are 10, 11 and 12. n square plus 4 into n plus 1 equal to n plus 2 all square. Here the consecutive numbers are n, n plus 1 and n plus 2. 